Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. And this week we're going to review something we get asked about all the time. So no suspense this week's video, straight in. We're gonna be reviewing our windbreak. And we'll be talking through the differences between a pole windbreak and an air windbreak. It's something we get asked about quite a lot, the type of model we've got, so we're gonna share it with you. We've never done a review on this before. We've had it for just over a year, so we're gonna talk you through what we've used it for, how we use it, and the benefits as well. So there's generally two types of windbreaks, um, one with poles, like we've got, or um, an air uh, windbreak. So why have we got poles? We got polls for, that's a very good question. So when I first started researching this, we obviously research everything before we buy it in detail, just for our channel, um, we would get an air, or air windbreak. Really popular, everyone sees, you see them at the shows, they're really, really popular, and they're usually quite big and look really simple to set up. The, till I started looking into a bit more detail, to put an awning up, I can understand completely why you put an awning up with an air awning, because it's very easy, you just pump it up and it blows up the side of your van. With a windbreak, generally there's only three poles, so the time it takes to get the pump out, connect it up, pump it up, it's about the same time to put the poles in. So okay. there's not really any, any time saving. Um, and the main reason I went for this, as you'll probably know from our, our channel if you watch it regularly, is to save weight. Um, I'm really conscious about trying to reduce weight. Clearly it's not working for me, um, <laughs> but for the van. This is so he can carry all his weight about his person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing the beer reviews is not helping with that. But with this particular windbreak is really, really lightweight. I'll go through the stats in a second, but the reason we went for this basically is because of its compact size, it can fit anywhere. It'll fit into a rucksack. I've got a rucksack that goes into the back of as well and it's weight. So I'll talk you through the stats exactly in a second, but it's really light, as you can see from yeah, Caroline look. lifting it. So that was the main fundamental reasons why I went for it. So look at the stats. Ours is the Suncamp Windjammer Grey 4. Um, grey 4, it's got, it's because it's grey and it's got four poles. It comes with the six guy ropes as well and the pegs to peg it out too. But we tend to use our, our drill pegs just to yeah. give it more stability. It's got um, three panels, hasn't it? So yeah. the uh, outside two are solid grey, um, the inside one has got a window in it, hasn't it? For Molly to look out of, yeah. <laughs> Um, cost price is about £45. Online it's a little bit cheaper now, you can get it for about £40, £45. Um, but the main reason we went for this, as I say, is the size of the pack. You can see it's really small from Caroline presenting it here. Um, the pack size is 56 centimetres by 9 centimetres, the official dimensions. Um, open, it's 140 centimetres height by 500 centimetres width. So it's quite big and you obviously can, you can adjust it to suit. Most important thing with this is the weight. It was 2.5 kilograms. So it's really, really lightweight. So whether you want to use it in the van, whether you want to use it in the garden, whether you want to take it to the beach, it'll fit into a rucksack, it, you say, it's really easy to use. Really, really good bit of kit. Something we've, um, we were looking for for a long time. We just bought it by, by chance, didn't we? Found it in the shop. Yeah, um, mainly because some of the um, sites are quite open um, and Molly's a bit twitchy sometimes. If it's very open, she likes to, uh, like most dogs, Collie's in particular, um, she likes to be able to sit with her back against something and look out and know that there's nothing going to creep up behind her. Um, so it's really good for that, just to give you that bit of privacy. Great for sunny weather if you want to, you know, have a bit of a sunbathe, a little bit of privacy. And also the obvious thing that it's intended for uh, as a windbreak, so it, it can give you that extra bit of shelter as well if it's uh, particularly breezy. Yep. Comes with a bag as well, which is really useful. It folds up into the bag, nice and neat. And then you just roll it back around its poles and it, it fits back into the bag really, really easily as well when you're putting it away. Uh, really simple to do. Um, one of the other things with it as well is we used it with the rollout awning on the side of the van. So rather than taking the driveway on in like a full tent awning, sometimes it's not convenient to do that. So you roll out the rollout awning from the side of the van, put this up and you've got your own little shelter at the side of the van to eat outside. <laughs> So really, really good a bit of kit, something we've, we've really enjoyed using and it was very, very good and cost effective. So we paid about, it's about 40, 45 pounds. Rating out of five, how many fantastic adventures, five ratings would you give it? I would give it 
Five. 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 Five for me as well. You cannot fault it. Yeah, one of those purchases that you think, oh yeah, we should get one because, you know, in case we need one. And then actually you use it loads because you realise how good it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased we've got one. Definitely recommend this. Yeah. The tip, each pole's got a spike in it as well. So you can get it into the ground. It goes into hard ground as well to keep it still. It stayed up with some really, really strong winds too. So highly recommended bit of kit this Could one. Could use your rock pegs. We've used the rock pegs with it every time we put it up. Yeah. She, she never does it, you can see. <laughs> Obviously, it's me putting it up. You can always put it up on your own, but it does help if you've got someone to help you hold it while you put it up too. So thanks very much for watching. We hope you found this video useful, and we'll catch you in next week's video where we're going to be reviewing our new fold-up bikes. Ooh. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, we're going to do a review on something we get asked about quite a lot. It's something that weighs very little. It's me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Why do you part with it? Why do you take it? Why do you let it go with you? <laughs> That's why you get asked, isn't it? <laughs> Stop laughing now. Come on, focus, Sensible. professional. <laughs> you haven't done this for ages. Right, okay. So you've probably already seen from the thumbnail, there's no point in keeping your suspense. We're going to be reviewing this this week, our windbreak, uh, which seems a strange thing to review. But we asked about it a lot, um, and I'm going to explain to you why we bought this, the difference between an air awning and a pole awning. No, I'm not, that's not an awning, it's a windbreak, okay. <laughs> this one weighs 2.5 kilograms, which is why we got it. It's really, really lightweight. 2.5 kilograms, that is like literally Bag of sugar? No, it's a kilogram. Oh. Big bag of sugar? 